Hello everybody, uh, today I will show you some basics about JavaFX uh, on the video I made uh, two weeks ago I talked about the, how to install it and now I will just show you some basics um, how to make a window, and to change the icon, title, the size of the window and things like that so let's start um, let's go to the same folder we have created next um, uh, two weeks ago and uh, create a new class and name it tutorial fx and you don't uh, click on void main you, we don't need it for, for now you have uh, this uh, basic layout and um, the goal I will just show you how to make the small uh, the smallest possible code to make your window so you type extend application and you when it prompts you you choose application fx Up. now you add an implemented method which will add public void start you can get rid of this line and you can rename this stage and you also can get rid of that we don't need it for the moment so the minimum code is just to type this and now you create a main and in main you write down you type down launch and just start it will create an empty window like this nothing inside that's just it so you can do nothing with it for the moment and uh, that's it just this code and you have a window now um, in in any case if you want to make some functional application you need a few more lines of code like uh, first of all you need the scene and a container the, um, so let's type it down uh, tell him root new tile pin. scene a scene you see and you put the root inside and now now you need to add the um, the scene in the stage stage that set scene and the scene uh, we just need to make it uh, fixing okay uh, you can assign um, height and width now when we start it's have 300 and 300 and now 500 this is the height this one is the height 500 and this is a white width I mean uh, 300 so I would just uh, watch uh, what I will say next so you can set the title status set title um, hello guys 
Not objects. Uh, now you can set an icon. Let's make an icon. Uh, image that icon. Get new image. So you need to know get class that get reduce a stream and now you have to put the name of the icon file so mine is search.png you just need to add the icon like that copy and you have the icon here and you can copy the name here okay um, now you need to use the icon we just specified here in the stage so get icon that add icon And start. This is as easy as that. You have the icon here and you have the icon here. So easy. I will just change with search because I found it a bit better. Okay. Um, you can make the stage full screen. Uh, set full screen and you type to um, start and it is full screen and to get out you press escape key and now it's normal you can just uh, put it in a comment and stage that uh, All sizable set all sizable false and now you will see that we cannot resize it so it's good if you want some property so now I will show you the min and max uh, of the um, of the window size stage that mean that mean right like 200 right with 200 and now if we run it you will see oh I forgot to get to command this out okay now you will see that we cannot make it smaller than 200 and 200 and now we will do the same but at, with max right 600 stage that set max width 600 and now you cannot make it bigger sorry bigger than that maximum minimum that's cool I just forgot to say that type pan you can use different uh, type of layout and type pan is a container it's container uh, like a button um, uh, checkbox everything you want in the inside and a uh, container can contain other container and you have mil you can have multiple container inside the container it's just a way of organizing thing to so lay out of the page and um, I have to choose this one and I will show you another one which is a steak pan 
uh, just a bit in a moment. But if you want more information on on different pane and different layouts, I recommend you to go to this website. You just type that. Or that's planning JavaFX flow pane. You go here and uh, you have different tutorial. Uh, mine is in French, but you can go in English or German. So you can choose, and they explained very well the difference between the different layouts. So maybe I will make a small video about it, but essentially you have this here. So it's very good. Explain the difference. Cool. So let's go back to our basics. So let's add a button a button to this page. So create a button JavaFX button zero equals new button and let's say hello and just by anticipation I will make an another one and just say hey he it's better <laughs> and add this no root that get children that's add and this is how you you add uh, elements to a container um, so button zero and now let's start and as you can see the hello button is here and but um, and it's how to explain I mean hello button starts at left upper left corner and it's not starting on here or here or here or here it's it's by default on a tile pan and on every other pane except the stack pan it starts here so if we do a stack if we change this by stack pan you will see it will start at the center as you can see it starts at the center but I, um, if you want to do the same by default it's the center but if you want to do the same uh, with Telpan, you have to specify it. Uh, Telpan, it's a root that set alignment, alignment, and you type center, control, and space. This, and now it will be in center. As you can see now, with Taipan, it's in the center. We have changed the default to center. Um, but there is a behavior you need to know. We set root to center and not button. If you, if we do button to center, it will still be on upper left corner. This behavior is just meaning that set alignment is uh, setting the position of the child of what is we specify here. So in the root we have a button, so it go to the center, not the root himself. And another thing you can see, uh, button one is not displayed only button zero because uh, we didn't never we never said add this to root so let's just do that root that get children let's add button one and as you can see it's just here 
Okay. Um, we can also specify the gap between the two root that uh, set hash h gap. This is the horizontal gap. As you can see now, the gap is much bigger. And root that set vertical gap 100. Uh, as you can see, when you go like this, your the vertical gap is going. But just to show you the difference, I started another. Um, the same application and now it's just on top of each other but here we have a small uh, gap of 100 pixels um, I will I want also to show a difference between stack pan and tag pan in stack pan uh, Different elements. Uh, we don't have this. In stack pan, uh, different elements are on top of each other. Um, we put hello button first, so it's in the back, and hello button hi button. It's uh, on top of it. If we put another button. It will be the one in front, as you can see, but we still see the we, the button in the back. It is not it, you have to know this behavior. Um, I advise you to go on this website and to go to stack pen. This image explains it very well. You have different uh, elements and it is on top of each other. But in the other different uh, layouts, it's not the same. It's they are next to each other. So let's go back to Eclipse. Uh, if you want to make uh, the other element here not visible, you have to type this down. Root that uh, get children that get zero zero because zero is the first element we put we put inside. So it's button one, and you make set visible to false. And also with this one, we just change one. One is because index one, it's the second element we put is root. So the second element was button one. That starts, and you can see we have only the high element, last element that is visible, the top element. Now let's go back to comment this out and let's make it back tile span, tile span I mean, and let's add some function to the buttons. Uh, let's make it 10 and then now now we have three button it's good so we will make the button uh, print out some statement here so button zero that set on action 
action and this is a lambda expression if you don't know what it is I just advise you to go onto the internet and to search a bit I'm not very uh, confident to explain it in depth so it's just for in our case it's just a, a way to avoid to write a long function so uh, sys out uh, hello and button one button two hi guys hey guys just to show you that it's not um, different from this hi hello you got hello here hi hey guys hi so this is this easy so that was it guys um, I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned some or few things in this video and have a nice day